darkness. My mind ran wild. Empty and broken. No longer a child. Sorry to keep you waiting. Different people with different problems. So, is there anything I can get you before we start? Glass of water, perhaps? No, thank you. Fine. So, what we're about to discuss is not easy. However, it's important you understand the high level of sensitivity for which our department, my department, are handling this situation. Now, shall we begin? Fuck are you? I don't know. I... We're locked in. Oh, fuck that. What? What is it? My legs. I can't move them. How is that? How is that possible? I don't know. Are you? Uh, I, I'm a profiler for the AFP. Your law enforcement? Someone tell me just what the fuck is going on? Do you recognize any of them? These were the ones responsible for the incident. The appropriate action has been taken, of course, and several of them have already been shown the door. You know, this type of behaviour is like nothing our school has ever seen. At least in my time. Blatantly speaking, utterly heinous. Class is now in session. You are all responsible for the death of the girl that lies before you. This gun only contains a single bullet which, when used correctly, will set you all free. Before it is used, however, you must all find out what you have in common. Only then you will learn the root of your heinous crime. This is bullshit. <laughs> what kind of a freak would do this to someone, huh? Where would you work? Stop! Stop! Okay, we're, 
We're obviously here for a reason, right? And, and rather than get worked up, I suggest that we start using our heads and, and we figure out what that reason is. The note said we all have something in common. <laughs> Nothing alike. I mean, look at us. Average working girl, clearly on a roll, socialite, obviously a dick. Fuck you! And then there's me, always ending up in these situations. Well, what about the gun? Yes, the gun. Now we're thinking. I say we get it and we blow this fucking door open. So, how are you planning to get both logs, huh? There's one bullet in the chamber the note said, when used correctly, will set you free. I'm in charge of the gun. Yeah, who made you fucking sheriff? Well, I am a fucking cop, actually. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm the only one, aside from Brain over here, that's licensed to handle firearm. What is it? Guys, I think she knows her. <laughs> that's great. The only person who knows something, she's a fucking mute. How do we get her to speak? We need to get her mouth open, okay? So maybe there's, there's something we can use in here to dissolve the glue. Now, she was not involved in the incident at hand. However, it's come to our attention, once again, that what transpired may have stemmed from what we believe to be a more pressing matter. More pictures similar to that one have been found. Are you insinuating that... Along with this. I believe you recognise the item. The girl in the picture's name is... Grace O'Neill. We went to primary school together. We kind of lost touch after that. And you know how it is. I ran into her a couple of years ago at this event I was running. She must have purchased a ticket online or whatever. Yeah, exactly, whatever. Get to the point, Barbie. Anyways, um, she seemed to be doing well. Great career. Happy. We spent the night together. You guys talked all night? Not exactly, no. I just can't believe that's her. But what does this bitch have anything to do with us? School, you said you went to school with her. Hang on, I, I got a question. My legs, her shirt, her lips, my man in the box over here. Yet, I don't see anything wrong with you. Don't you see it? The way we woke up, it's, it, it's exactly how you would see a class full of students. Fuck! The note said, class is now in session. So what, this is some kind of fucked up study group? What school did you go to? Rose Valley Primary School. That was my primary school. Yeah, me too. Fuck. <laughs> I got expelled from that school. So did I. That was the reason Grace and I lost touch. Hang on. What does that have to do with any of us being fucked up like this? I wasn't expelled, but and I know you. I know all you guys. Why were you expelled? I... I, um... We... Oh, I remember now. That's it.
good at making observations, Sandra. It's you. Shame you're too late to act on them, though. You're him. <laughs> no fucking way. You son of- In case you haven't noticed, we're not in school anymore, Jason. Would you be a lamb and grab the keys to these shackles from our pockets? God, I've missed you guys. How's this for a reunion? Am I right? Hey, can I ask you something and be honest? The whole impairment thing. I mean, it seemed like a creative idea at the time and thought Jason hobbling around certainly piqued my amusement. I don't know, too much? Why? Well, you stripped me, McKen. Only seemed fair I returned the favour. Although if you ask me, I got the better end of this deal. Okay, so you got picked on, big deal. People get victimised every day and life goes on. What, this is revenge? Well, why don't we ask Sandra? She seems to have all the answers. So? Why don't you... To teach? Ding, ding, ding! Someone's getting a gold star next to their name. Why am I here? I did nothing to you. Exactly. You did nothing. You just watched. Oh, I was broken. My life became constant reruns of that day in the classroom. And Grace, she was so beautiful. I guess I kept tabs on her over the years. I don't know, I just, I couldn't get her out of my mind. Especially not since that day. I mean, you guys humiliated me in front of her. I, I told her who I was, and she remembered me, but not in the way I had hoped. She teased me, bringing up all those unbearable memories. I snapped. All I ever wanted was acceptance. Love. And you all took that from me. You and you and you and you! Through your selfish, spiteful actions, you made me what I am. Yeah, I may have stabbed her, but you made me carry the blade. When used correctly, will set you all free. Just won't end. You don't have to do this. Think about this, man. The city I gave you should wear off in about an hour. Then you'll be able to feel the keys to those locks in your shoe. Lesson learned. Fell asleep. Look, we're very, very sorry. We know this type of thing is difficult to hear. However, in light of the incident, we feel that uh, young Carter here should begin sessions with our school counsellor as soon as possible, on a regular basis. Have you heard the term miscreation? No. no. Well, this type of trauma is never easy to handle and some children never fully recover. Effects can be startling, often life shattering. Well, I think that will be all for today. Our office will be in touch with you shortly.
I'm Team, team Broken. No longer a child. Sorry to keep you waiting. Different people with different problems. So, is there anything I can get you before we start? Glass of water, perhaps? No, thank you. Fine. So, what we're about to discuss is not easy. However, it's important you understand the high level of sensitivity for which our department, my department, handle this situation. Now, now, now. Shall we?